Well, we got some. I probably should have <laughs> watched more videos before I did it, but I didn't want it to die. Yeah, um, that's a bunch of hair. Well, not hair so much as uh, roots. We got some floaties in the tank. Um, and that would be because I uh, put duckweed in the tank. It was awful when I first put it in. It was super cloudy with roots and flyy stuff. Obviously, it was mailed. Um, I had to rig up a filter sponge cover with a piece of larger filter. I sewed together with um, fishing line, which I was going to do anyways because I think, like I said, I think we've got a female shrimp. So just in case there's any fries that are born, I don't want to get them sucked into the filter. This duckweed was pretty fiercely clogging it up anyways. And unfortunately, right above that is the, I can't really see it from the plant, where the filter comes in. So it's pushing them down a bunch. Um, but I did watch a video about how to corral them. And it's funny because for all the... Hey, what's up, buddy? For all the crap people are talking about it. Um, a, the shrimps seem to love it. All these little roots hanging out all over the place. There's a dude there. There's a dude back there on the shell hanging out. Um, we got this, uh, decided to name him Spooky. I'm just going to call him Spooky because he is. Um, they're super active since I put the duckweed in. Super active. Um, so I'm thinking they're going to be tearing that up. That little piece of grass just got nailed. <laughs> Like it's a comb. Um, but, from what I understand, it'll propagate pretty quickly. See, it's up there floating around. We got quite a bit up here. I don't know how it's getting up on the wall already. That's a bit of a drag. I want those things to grow. But, I am... Here, let's open the lid. I've got... Oops, a corral idea using airline tubing that I'm going to, I think, maybe hold all this stuff down at the one end. See, there's a nice pile down over there in the corner that's made its way. That's nice. I'm glad it's getting away from this downpour a little bit. It's pushing it actually into that filter down there, you see. Um... But that can wait, I think, a couple days. You know, see, it's all stuck on the back wall already. I know that's a problem a lot of people have, but, um, you know, I just got this stuff today. I don't want it drying up on the wall quite so quickly. Um, so that's going to have to be fixed. That It'll die. It'll spoil off, and the shrimp will probably go over there and eat it, because shrimp are kind of filter eaters anyway, so. Um, there goes Spooky. He's all, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. What was really funny when I was talking on that video yesterday about this uh, spot of algae down here that I wanted the shrimp to get in there and clean. I think Boga was hanging out right here. Uh, but I was talking about it. It was really funny because when I went back and watched it again, I noticed that if you look right here, there is a shrimp laying there, actually. A little red guy. Um, which is funny because I didn't pay him any mind. I saw him as an hey, what's up, spooky? As an afterthought, but I didn't pay him any mind because if you notice, this um, stem here is red. Okay, oh, hey, there he is. Uh, this stem here is red, and it was going down over here. So I thought the shrimp that was laying there was actually the stem, 
But the whole time I was talking about wanting a shrimp to get down there and clean it up, there was a shrimp there the whole time cleaning it, which is funny. So I'm hoping that um, the shrimp are going super active because they like it and not because they're panicking. Duckweed is supposed to be a really great filtration. Um, we don't use a CO2 diffuser. I'm still learning about that, and it spooks me out a little bit. Um, I think the boys are somewhere sleeping. I don't see them anywhere. But, uh, yeah, there's the, uh, some onion grass and some bacopa. It's just covered in roots. So I'm hoping those will, uh, melt pretty quick. Oh, that poor little guy over there. He's got shit all over him, too. Um, and just turn into nutrients for the plants and for the tank. So, all right, I'm going to turn that light out.